Okay, we're here at the CanFit Pro um, in Toronto, Ontario, at the Metro Convention Centre. Uh, Wade, uh, tell me more about yourself and um, your fitness and your journeys, actually, in, uh, you know, as far as fitness. Thanks so much. Well, I've been a three-time Canadian National Bodybuilding Champion and competed at the Mr. Universe and have been in health and fitness my whole life. But what's interesting is I suffered from my own performance-based diet. After the Mr. Universe contest, I gained 42 pounds of fat and water in 11 weeks. Went from Mr. Universe to Mr. Marshmallow. And the reason I did that is because I didn't understand. I learned how to build the body from the outside in, not the inside out. And fortunately, I met a, a medical doctor who was well-versed in the understanding of how the digestive system worked. And he taught me about enzymes, hydrochloric acid, probiotics, and was able to help me rebuild my digestive system so I could absorb and assimilate and utilize the food that I was actually eating. Because most of us don't understand that we actually, it's a single canal from your mouth to your anus, yeah. and there's a specific process involved in converting the food that you eat into the energy units or the building blocks. And so if your body is breaking down in disease and dysfunction, or you're lacking from energy, the reality is, is there something wrong with how that system is absorbing and utilizing the food that you're eating? And so that happened to me, it can happen to anybody else, and I've spent the rest of my days in the last 15 years educating people about how they can reclaim their health, reclaim their biology, double their energy by altering that digestive system or returning it back to its original uh, state. You were also saying, uh, there was a really great comment you said about um, obesity, that a lot of people who are obese, um, it's not necessarily about they're eating too much, that they're more malnutrition. Is, yeah, could you go more, uh, could you fee, uh, talk more to that? Yeah, so I believe that obesity is actually caused from a form of starvation. In other words, we have an excess of calories, but we have a lack of the essential nutrients that actually build health. Uh, various vitamins, minerals, trace nutrients, proper bacteria, proper enzymes. These type of things are essential to living beings. And the reality is people are overeating or they've altered their hormonal cycle. That they're not eating that much, but their bodies aren't working properly because they're lacking these essential nutrients. So modern food production has actually solved the caloric problem, but have created a nutrient deficiency inside the process, which is leading to overeating leading to under movement under exercising because of technological advancements and that is a cascade of effects which alters our digestive system and our ability to get the energy or the building blocks from our food yeah now in, in you were saying that you did a performance diet what was a performance diet compare that to performance diet to what you're doing right now correct so most of us celebrate athletes or models or actors and stuff because they look a certain way i call that cosmetic health yeah. in other words we're, we're, we're using technology or dietary practice to have a certain body fat percentage, have a certain hormone or look, or a, a cosmetic look. Yeah. But oftentimes those people are actually, like myself, compromising their health to look a specific way. Yeah. And they usually run into a variety of conditions later on in life that they, you don't see on the cover of a mag, on Vogue magazine or on the cover of a Facebook page. Yeah. And the reality is, is all, almost all of them will end up in some kind of challenge like I did and they start to switch to a health diet. And a health diet is about supporting the body's natural mechanisms and so that it can absorb and utilize the food that you're supposed to be eating in a way that gives you energy and allows you to live long and strong. Yeah. Now tell me more about Bio-Optimizer, because this is your company here, um, and you're, you're creating a, a form of um, probiotic. What's the difference between your probiotics and the ones that are in the market? So Bio-Optimizer is a company that uh, my business partner and I, uh, Matt Gallant, co-founded 15 years ago. We were both personal trainers and we've co collectively coached over 50,000 people together. And what we had found is that so many people had compromised digestion and they couldn't get the results that they were looking at of exercise programs or they couldn't overcome physical illnesses because their digestive system was so compromised. They were literally starving themselves into disease or dysfunction or depression. And so we decided that we were going to go out and create a company that actually focused specifically on first optimizing a person's digestive health, and then once that was fixed, providing them the key elements that would allow them to experience what we call awesome health or super health. And that's where biological optimization came from, or bioptimizers for short. Okay, so the uh, the probiotics is it's not a new thing right now. It's been like I've seen it in the news. You know, we've got probiotics, yogurts, and so forth. Um, you were stating also in your lectures that some of these probiotics are, are rush type of products. 
um, in order to, be, to get in the, in the sales as far as the, the market goes right now. Um, Bio-optimizers, uh, what's the difference between your pro, uh, probiotic and the, and the other ones, like specifically? Well, I think it's really important to understand today that we are entering right into what I feel is the golden age of probiotics. Right now, we were into this research 15 years ago, rebuilding my own system, but the bottom line is, is now it's become mainstream. And the, the challenge when things come mainstream is there's what I call the Me Too syndrome. And uh, the Me Too syndrome means that, oh, I've heard about this probiotic and this probiotic, and some company comes in and builds a company based on margin, not based on efficacy. So they throw a mishmash of maybes in a bottle, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, and they sell it to people because it's riding a trend. And people think, oh, I need to take probiotics, or I need to take Greek yogurt, or I need to do whatever because it's got probiotics. But they don't understand that there is like literally hundreds of types of probiotics. And finding the right probiotic for a person is uh, specific to their diet, their genetics, where they are in life and what they want to do. There are transient strains and there are colonizing strains. Yeah. And colonizing strains require specific prebiotics in order for them to take hold inside your digestive system and most companies don't develop it. We, we developed what's called a transient strain which goes into the body, cleans out the bad guys. Uh, it's a patented strain. We put it through a process to make it into an enhanced super probiotic that has some very interesting properties. You can check out the US patent on our website uh, about some of the claims or some of the allowable claims, but it is maintainable in the gastrointestinal act. It doubles every 20 minutes in the body and it's profound in bringing people's natural gut flora back to its op optimum state. And then in conjunction with a diet that supports the health and the function of that individual, which is gonna be specific to that person, it's the perfect combination. So we don't just randomly shotgun a probiotic. We say, here's what you need to do. We've got a 12 week education course that allow people to go through the whole process. We give it away to our clients because it's you can't supplement your way out of a bad diet. But if you're doing the right things and you add the right supplement, that is how you enter into what we call super health. Super health. Super health, I love that. Uh, you're getting a big crowd of people coming to see you. Um, is, it, is, is it because maybe your message is actually uh, resonating to the truth, actually more so of what's really going on out there in the market? Um, because there's so many probiotic, I've tried a probiotic, and I didn't feel that it didn't work. And you, you addressed that today in the crowd. Have uh, you tried a probiotic and it didn't work? Um, and what are the really downfalls of some of these crappy probiotics that are out there? They're, I mean, obviously, it looks like they're just there for profit, you know, like you're saying, going for the trend and so forth. Um, what should you experience as a symptom of taking a good probiotic like your company here? Yeah, great, great, great question. Well, I think the reason uh, there's a variety of problems why people are having challenges, and like I said, we talked about riding the trend. But most people are, are looking to use a probiotic is because they're not feeling their best. They're waking up tired, they're getting uh, every cold or flu that comes through, or they're having gas, bloating, digestive issues and these type of things, which indicate that their good bacteria is not in balance in relative to the bad bacteria. So you want to choose a probiotic that is number one relative to your diet, uh, because for example, my business partner is a keto dieter, I'm a vegetarian. We're at the polar ends of the, uh, of the bacteria spectrum. Our microbiome, which is the collection of bacteria inside your body, are gonna be very different. But we found a probiotic strain that works universally, and it's a single strain. And it's not saying that there isn't other strains that are effective, because there are strains that are effective, but most of the research is done on single strains. And the problem when you take a multi-strain is if they haven't designed that properly, you know, with real science behind, oftentimes those strains will actually complete, cancel each other out, or they won't have enough of the prebiotics to support their lives, or it's a probiotic that's not right for that person's diet, yeah. and that person doesn't have the food that's going to allow them to colonize and take hold. And so those are the three factors that affect the effectiveness of a probiotic strain. Now, uh, for the future, uh, just my last question here for the future, Wade, uh, where do you see uh, probiotics? Obviously, it's in the golden age now. You, you feel that people are getting more educated in this issue. Um, do you feel that uh, people are going to be more optimized in their health in the future, or do you, you, you do you see that trend happening right now? Yeah, we're on a great trend right now, and I think it's awesome. And what it is is the price of testing for an individual is coming down and is far more accessible than it's ever been. The internet is also a great tool for education because primarily, up until maybe the last 10 years, most people went to their general practitioner for medical advice. Now the general practitioner is designed to treat acute symptoms of disease. They're not a, 
designed to work on long-term health conditions that people deal with for years. And so they do a very good job on those acute conditions. But for long-term health, the use of naturopathic doctors, people who have a background in nutrition and who study these areas, are the things that you use for long-term for prevention and health. And you know, the old saying is, an ounce of pre prevention is worth a pound of cure is true. And now that we have the internet, we can provide the tools, the education, the resources, and the personalities and people that have the qualifications and the expertise to help you make the right choices. Uh, you can connect with me at Bioptimizers, wait at Bioptimizers, or Facebook page, or uh, reach out to our staff and they'll get to me. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you very much.